fitness goals. Whether it's lose weight, gain muscle, or just overall to live a better life, we all have them. The problem is we often fall short, and I found there are three reasons why most people do not reach their fitness goals, and I'm gonna cover them right now. Let's get started. So there are three very important things that everyone needs to reach their health and fitness goals. The problem is they normally only have one or maybe two of them at a time and wonder why their three-legged stool keeps falling over. Without these three things, it is almost impossible to reach any fitness goal. I'm gonna go ahead and break down each one of them and how you can get them in this video. So number one is gonna be obviously fitness. You're gonna to have to move if you want to reach your goal. Two is going to be nutrition, which is probably the biggest factor in whether or not you start losing body fat or gaining muscle. And three is going to be accountability. That's normally the one that everyone's lacking, but it's pretty easy to get and I'm going to cover some of that more in this video. So let's start with fitness. So fitness is something that I covered in depth in several other videos, which you can actually see right here. And I tell you my ideology in fitness. The problem is a lot of times people come at their fitness goals and only think of nutrition. Now nutrition is the biggest part, don't get me wrong, but you still need to move and be active if you want to be able to live a healthier life. And you need to incorporate some form of strength training. The problem a lot of people run into is yes, they'll lose a bunch of weight and that is absolutely awesome. However, they don't acquire muscle mass, which means keeping that body fat or that weight off is next to impossible is your muscle mass is basically your metabolism. Without a decent amount of muscle mass, you cannot eat the required amount of calories and you will be in this constant cycle of trying to lose more weight because you're having a hard time keeping it off to begin with. So make sure you're incorporating some form of resistance training in whatever fitness program that you're trying to make. Now you don't have to go overboard on this. You can always just keep it simple like one, two, maybe three days a week and you'll be doing plenty. You don't have to do a crazy amount. You don't have to do five days a week, three days a week, and you're golden. And that should be enough to make sure that you're maintaining or even building a little bit of muscle mass so your metabolism stays in check. Next up is nutrition. Now nutrition is the most important thing whenever it comes to losing body fat. If you're not eating properly, nothing you do is going to work. You cannot outwork a bad diet. You need to be getting enough protein in and you need to be eating in a calorie deficit if you want to be losing body fat. However, keeping in mind that you do have to eat a minimum amount of calories. That minimum amount is going to vary based on how much muscle mass you have, age, and various other things, but you need to make sure you know that. You don't want to be living on an 800 calorie diet. It's not practical and I strongly recommend you avoid that at all cost. And last but not least is accountability. Now almost every program that you can find that involves fitness is lacking this one thing. If you have Weight Watchers, you have some form of it, but if you're someone who just started at a gym, you have none of it. The thing is, if you wanted to accomplish this before and failed, it's because you had nothing supporting you, nothing motivating you, no one sitting there keeping you in check and making sure you're accomplishing your goals and tasks. Accountability is vital, and it can come in many different forms. Accountability can come in group or individual settings. Group can be as simple as a Facebook group that you force yourself to post on every single day and you make that part of your daily routine and using the group to encourage you to get whatever it is you need done. It could be classmates in your fitness class. It's so much easier to push yourself to show up to a place if you have people counting on you being there. People that are there that you wanna be around and encourage you to better yourself. Or accountability could be simply logging your own food. It's very hard to have self accountability a lot of people don't have that, especially in the beginning. If you're already struggling with like eating right, keeping a consistent workout schedule, you probably want some external accountability, either a coach or community or Facebook group. However, if you are someone who's very self-motivated and you can keep yourself accountable, getting stuff like MyFitnessPal or other calorie counting apps to make sure you're keeping yourself accountable and keeping track of what you're doing and focusing on your goals is going to be vital. I strongly recommend though finding someone to help support you through this, like maybe making a goal and a bet associated with that goal with a spouse or friend or like I said, a fitness coach, something along those lines. It's very important that you have that in place. If you don't have nutrition, fitness, and accountability in whatever fitness goal you have, you're going to struggle to accomplish it. It is something that I strongly recommend that you take in consideration whenever you're looking at whatever program you're thinking of starting. There's so many things out there that have one, maybe two of these things, 
but don't have all three. For example, if you want to join a cheap gym, yes, you'll have fitness available, but you might not have the knowledge required to make and utilize those fitness aspects of that gym to the optimal degree. Nutrition. Yes, you can join something like Weight Watchers. You can have a little bit of accountability with it and they'll give you some guidelines to eat properly. However, they do not educate you on what you're doing. So if you ever leave them, you don't know what you did, so you can't maintain it. On top of that, their accountability is eh, at best. And of course, there's always going to be something like coaching, personal training. Now, personal training is always going to be the highest end ticket. It's going to cost a lot, but it's going to have all three pillars almost every single time. And if it doesn't, avoid it, run away. I strongly recommend focusing more on group settings because that's going to cover all three aspects. So stuff like boot camps, group fitness classes. If you have a group fitness class that covers nutrition, gives you the workouts, and has a group to keep you accountable, that is your go-to. I strongly recommend that for anyone with a fat loss goal because that's going to have everything you need to make sure you reach your goal. I am a huge, huge advocate of making sure that you have all three pillars of success so that three-legged stool does not fall over and you have everything you need to make sure you reach those goals. I hope this was helpful for you. If you want more information on how I view nutrition and how I use it, go ahead and click this video right here where I go in depth on how I eat and how I have viewed and changed my ideal on nutrition throughout the years. I've been doing this for about six years now. I've tried just about everything under the sun and I'm pretty happy with how I do things now. So if you want that, click here. If you want some more support and accountability and have a group of like-minded individuals to help you get through what you're doing, go ahead and click the link below and you can join either the West Indy or the dedicated health community groups. And you will always find support there through me and other coaches. And we would be happy to help you reach whatever fitness goals that you're trying to reach. So feel free to join that. It's completely free of charge. It is non-soliciting, so you will not be encouraged to pay for something. It's just a place for us to support you and spread more knowledge that we have acquired throughout the year. So hopefully you find this useful and I'll see you in the next one.